in this short piece, we are talking about shifting baseline syndrome and really how it can apply really to about anything. Uh, and it's just kind of being more aware of it. And I think this can be useful to both practitioners and also to consumers in that you need to kind of have a general idea of where you're at and where someone else might be in order to really truly be effective. Uh, and that can go from both sides. So really just to start on the basics of it, the syndrome happens when change occurs over time. The state of the world we are in quickly becomes what we expect as quote unquote normal. Further, it refers to how we become used to how our state of affairs is and how that is true to our current situation. So we tend to only be able to see what is currently around us and we don't see how slow change occurs due to failing to actually perceive it. So that was kind of a formal definition of it. And so some of the things that we want to kind of look at is first we'll start from the practitioner side. And this could again be athletic trainers, physical therapists, chiropractors, strength and conditioning coaches, personal trainers. It, it could be really fit to anyway, physicians. Your baseline is constantly shifting and gr hopefully growing. That's something that we think is really important uh, just for a myriad of reasons of both your own growth, but then in what you're able to do to help other people. That being says, said, your baseline isn't everybody else's for, again, a lot of different reasons. Could be years of experience. It could be your due diligence in reading the current literature and your ability to have the time and the capacity to do that could be where you're located and just who you are around. Uh, sometimes you can just pick up more things by the people that you happen to be around with. So we really need to understand that first off. And this is something that I think is really important for anybody that's got some years of experience and expertise in a field to remember with younger professionals Things that have become just second nature to people that have been in the field for 10, 15, or more years didn't always used to be that way. And it's easy for us to forget that our baseline has shifted up because we have been in it and we've learned lessons along the way. But those coming out may not have had that opportunity yet. And it's easy to go back and sit there and be like, well, you should have known this. Well, if you really think about it for yourself, did you know that when you were in that position? Where you know, have you had that experience that would allow you to know that in that situation? And so, I, I think that is something for me. I try to remind myself of constantly. Uh, that was especially true working with student athletic trainers and young strength and conditioning professionals. Is you know, each year I would hopefully get a little bit better. I'd pick up some new things. I'd evolve, my baseline would shift uh, to become the new world perspective that I've seen. But the students I worked with kind of reset every year because the seniors I worked with, we grew together throughout the time I worked with them. They moved on, they're on to their next thing. And the juniors that I then got the following year are really just starting over where the seniors were. And that was something I had to constantly remind myself of. And, my goal was to always see if I could help bring the, that next class along a little bit quicker because there's something we could do to help them get them so we could grow together a little bit more that year. And I think that's something really important to remember and not try and get overly frustrated with. That goes to just looking at the bigger picture because, again, if you're looking at practitioner-wise, who are you working with? Same thing, your patients. You have no idea where they are coming from or what their baseline is of anything. And that's really important to help establish early on in the process and can probably save you both a lot of confusion, maybe some angst, if you would really understand that. Uh, that you got to know what people really are versed in when it comes to their own health and nutrition. Some people just that has no interest with them. The same thing with injury history. Other people have done their research, Google or otherwise, and really have a solid grasp. So you can kind of frame how you're doing that, but you've got to understand where their baseline is 
and know that yours is very different. Again, things that are very second nature to you and just make intuitive sense aren't everybody else's. And so again, that could be in your care of someone, it could be in your education of someone. You just need to know that not everybody is at that same level. And the more you can be aware of that, the more you're able to then meet that person where they are to help get them to where they and you would like them to be. Uh, just because you're growing as a practitioner doesn't necessarily mean everybody else wants to come along at that same rate. And that's okay. That's just the world as we live in and humanity as we know it. And that's all right. And so when you are looking at that and comparing things, like you have to understand that everything is situational. It all is contextual about the setting that they are in, the patients that they see, or the clients, and to make sure that we're not over analyzing that and making snap judgments when it comes to those things. And that really comes to the like back to the situational awareness as a practitioner. Depending on your setting and it varies wildly from profession to profession, you may not have that much time with a patient or a client. And so you have to work very quickly to understand where they are, where they're coming from, how you can meet them there, and what you can do to help. It can be really hard to understand someone, figure out what their motivations are, and what you're going to do to try and help them in a 20-minute appointment. That, that can be almost impossible but if there's other ways you can go about it to understand their baseline how that compares to yours and then fill in that area of what you can do in order to help people you know meet there to have the success of it is really um, I think what is going to help make uh, the most impact in working with patients or clients kind of switching it now to the consumer side or the patient and client side, it's really important to understand your baseline and be able to communicate that as well, you know, per just what we were talking about in the practitioner section of this. They need to know where you're at so they can help draw those connections. And you probably is worth knowing where they are at so you can help guide that as well. Letting them know, hey, I want to know the details of this because that's going to help me buy in and adopt what you're telling me. That's huge to be able to understand that. If you just want to do what they say and that's all you need, you trust them implicitly, that's great for them to know as well. But then you also need to understand your baseline on where you're at and that that baseline is going to have to shift as well. That is how results occur. If you're new to something, something is going to be coming along and it is going to be most likely effective with a new intervention. Because it is new, your body will have a bigger response to it over the first four, six, eight, maybe 12 weeks, whatever it may be. That could be strength, that could be some rehab, that could just be with weight loss because you are hitting with a new thing. That is not going to necessarily always be the same case, and that is where that baseline has to shift. And with that, some of our expectations, because it's really hard to keep up that clip of, of progress and success throughout six months, a year, just because of the way physiology works out. And so really being okay that we have to reshift our baseline, reshift our goals is going to make that success more attainable and better because you're going to feel like it's still happening. And so maybe that is, you know, if it's weight loss, it is hitting an X amount by a certain date, but then once that goal is obtained, Maybe it is then shifting that a little bit to maybe not so much weight loss, but maybe in muscle gain, and you shift a little bit in your training or what you're trying to do, and your body adapts to a new stimulus. So really being able to take all of that into context, be aware that you need to have these baselines that are shifting, and that is going to require reassessing goals and strategies to attain those, is going to help ensure better communication, better success, and really just a better understanding of each other, practitioner to practitioner, practitioner to patient or client, and even between clients. It's all 
situational and contextual, and we just think it's important to highlight that because that will help drive things forward with motivation and really obtaining what you're trying to do when it comes to achieving your goals both from both of that patient and practitioner side. So we hope this was beneficial to you. We'll have more of these coming, and we look forward to talking with you all on the next short of this type of information. Have a great day.